We are getting started with architect Eric Rosen in the Brentwood section of Los Angeles. Dubbed the Barrington Residence, it's an ultra-modern home cut into the hillside with a rooftop concealed beneath lush landscaping. This unique property completely erases the line between indoors and out with a series of cascading, light-filled living spaces that open up to the iconic LA views. Let's join Eric for a closer look. Hi, I'm Eric Rosen of Eric Rosen Architects based here in Los Angeles and I'm both the architect and builder of our recently completed project, the Barrington Residence, a 9,500 square foot single family home. We began the project by creating our own slice conceptually through the old house that we removed and into the hillside. To contrast this void that we cut into the hill, we created an anchor, a large mass, something around which we created a series of cascading planes that would become a series of both interior and exterior spaces that we'll get a chance to visit in a few minutes. For now, why don't we head down into the entry slice and see what it's like inside the house. So one of the advantages we have here in Southern California is this beautiful temperate climate that's almost year round. So that allows us to create a real relationship between our interior and our exterior spaces. As you see over my shoulder, the material on the wall is a Pazzanetto Italian marble slab, which all came from one boulder, interestingly enough. One of the other elements is the floors themselves. We're able to do stained concrete floors on the interior that cascade up and outside of the house. So why don't we head into the kitchen and family room and let's we'll see what that looks like. So here in the den, we can look back toward the kitchen and see where that Italian marble wraps around and becomes the backsplash to the kitchen walls. You can also see how the concrete floors step up from the kitchen to this den area and flow right to the outside. On the interior of the concrete is actually an air floor providing the heating and cooling for the house. These telescoping doors that disappear into the wall and stack create a fantastic relationship between this interior and exterior space. So to contrast this, let's go look at the living room and dining room, which provides a very different kind of experience. Where the den and the kitchen really reached toward the outside, we wanted this living room and bar and dining area to be a much more intimate and cozy environment. So we opted to have more framed, controlled views to the outside. The bar itself became a kind of a central part of their entertaining. Next to the bar is an eco-friendly ethanol fireplace. Now that we've had a chance to explore this level of the house, let's head down the stairs and see what it's like near the bedrooms. Within the master suite, my clients were interested in having a room that was separate from the bedroom area where they could work, relax, and hang out. So we have this lower level, it's the sitting room, and a few stairs up, we have the master bedroom itself. From there, our clients were interested in having actually separate bathrooms. He was interested in a more club-like, dark, woody environment, where she preferred a much more well-lit and open kind of space. The tub is depressed and set down into the floor so that she could have privacy while looking out this picturesque window. The decks off of the master suite and the lower den afford views to the lower portion of the property. And also over to my left is a concrete staircase cantilevered and bridging this lower portion of the property and taking us back up to the upper levels. It is up there that we'll see one of the most unique portions of the property. For a house set down into the landscape, it seems appropriate that we'll finish today's tour here on the roof with views out over the trees and up into the hills in the Getty Center. We're very grateful to our clients who gave us this opportunity to sculpt something very unique for them, and I appreciate you took the tour with us today. Hope to see you again soon.